Hello and welcome to page 2 of my art journal. This spread has been inspired by watching Bohemian Rhapsody recently. And for about the past year or so I have really started to click with Queen. I always liked them, but it wasn't to the extent where I knew all of their albums or anything like that. I actually only started to properly click with Queen after I was having a conversation with someone about bands and they mentioned how charismatic Freddie Mercury as a frontman was, which is something I've heard a lot of, but at that point I'd never actually seen any footage of them live. So not so long after, I just looked up a live performance of Queen on YouTube, I think it was the 1985 Live Aid concert, and I was only intending to watch through the first song or so. But it ended up being the whole video, then after that I just kept wanting to see and hear more and more. Then it got to the point where I had all of their albums, and I was watching a lot of documentaries about Queen, and then it was for the first time that I properly mourned Freddie Mercury. I hadn't really done it before, because he died before I was born. So I never really knew the before and after, and I hadn't really grasped how much of a loss it really was. But I don't want this to be a sad video, so I'm not going to go in, into more depth about that. And part of what I really appreciated about Bohemian Rhapsody, the film, was that it really celebrated his life and what he did with it while still being respectful and not denying the truth of what happened. It was only a couple of months after I became much more of a Queen fan that the biopic was announced, which I was super excited about. It's also been really nice to be able to make a Queen page and for it to actually be relevant to something that's completely new. I went into the cinema as a Queen fan and as someone who's watched a fair amount of Queen documentaries, and I thought they actually did an incredible job. It's been easily one of the best films I've seen in years. Obviously the music and soundtrack is a huge strength, but I also appreciate how much attention to detail there was, how much of an emotional impact it had. The acting, humour, its betrayal of friendship, and I could go on listing the things I enjoyed for a very long time. So I'll just leave it that I wanted to blast Queen's albums before seeing this film, and afterwards I just wanted to do it louder. So to save you from a ramble about Queen or about the film, I'll start talking about the process of actually making this page now. I started off drawing what would be the focus of the spread and what it take the longest to complete, which is this pencil portrait of Freddie Mercury. I've been really out of practice with trying to draw realistic portraits, so I had to do a few warm-ups and a little practice version before I attempted to draw this one. I was using Derwent graphite pencils, which came in a set of 12, and I picked out a handful to use that covered a wide spread of tones. I also used a different type of pencil for the solid black, which is more similar to a Conte crayon, because I didn't want the dark blacks to have that shine that dark blacks in graphite pencil can have. I started off drawing the skin first because I knew if the drawing wasn't going to turn out the way I wanted it to, then the skin in their face is where I'd be most likely to make mistakes. And after doing that, I just kind of worked my way outwards, trying to focus on one small section at a time. With drawings like this, I find it much easier to break it down into small and manageable chunks, otherwise it starts to feel like there's too much to do, and then I start to lose focus or start to feel overwhelmed and like it'll never be finished. Early on I was just using lighter pencils, I think it was a H and a 2B, and that was just to get a cover for the skin, and then I blended with a paper stump, and after that I was slowly introducing the darker pencils. It eventually just got to the point where I just went in with the darkest black I had, and I found doing that really beneficial. It allowed me to see earlier on in the process what my darkest value should look like, which made establishing all the midtones and getting a decent range of darks and lights a lot easier. If I had done that, I think I would have run the risk of not going dark enough with my pencils, and then I'd probably have to go over everything I'd drawn again to get them dark enough, so it helped me to avoid that kind of situation. Once I'd finished the drawing, I started painting with black ink around what I'd drawn, and then I just finished off with a brush pen to go around the more delicate edges. I knew I wanted something to fill the background that wouldn't look too cluttered, and I still wanted it to be relevant to what the page was about, so I used a printed version of the sheet music for Bohemian Rhapsody, and then I just put it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so, which made it go from white to this tanned brown colour. So I just used print stick, trim the paper a bit with scissors, and use corner cutters to go around the edges. 
For the board with the cinema ticket, I just used two brush markers which were two different shades of brown, and then I just blended them together before sticking down the ticket. Over the top, I drew Rami Malek from the film with a brush pen. I thought the page needed an extra something in the background because it looks slightly empty, so I drew all these lines with the markers I used for the border of the ticket. I was being so careful at first, but then, just as I was almost finished, I must have not been paying attention, or as much attention, because I went on autopilot, and I accidentally drew a couple of lines through my brush pen drawing, which I really didn't want to do. So I had to improvise and ended up painting over some of the pen drawing with acrylic paint. It wasn't part of the plan, but I don't think it turned out badly. The last and final thing I needed to do was to secure my pencil portrait in, which was another thing I just did with glue. Here is the final page in my art journal. I hope you enjoyed watching and see you guys next time. Bye!